Hello and welcome back to another Prodigy HD video. Today we have our Odegaard player review. Now I'm not sure how you actually pronounce it, but it's like Odegaard or Odegaard or something like that. But this guy is awesome. He was on the new FIFA roster, 1st of May FIFA roster, by the way, and we have our Karimo player review. By the way, my voice is slightly hurting, so if it does sound a bit droney today, I apologise. But anyway, let's get into it. By high demand, I've done this player review. On my career mode, he was simulated all the way to the rating of 87. So that is pretty damn good. I'm presuming that's around his peak level. He was around 28 years old at the time. It's probably peak level now. Um, in Chani Sports' review, I know he hit 90, which is insane. But 87, when his potential normally is only 80 so don't know what it was with this guy but when you play him like mad he lives up to his massive hype that he um, has put around him in the game anyway so let's look at his mental and physical comparison as you can see it's it's okay um it starts off okay his strength is awful and it grows, but to be honest, I'm quite surprised it grew that much because physicals don't normally grow. And in this case, it did with Odegaard. Only a bit, but enough to make his strength um, yellow, not red. So that was pretty positive. And then you can see that his jumping only grew by four, which is really poor. His reaction shot up and his sprint speed is insane. Wow, look at that agility. 95 agility, that is simply fabulous. His interceptions went up quite well, surprisingly, as well, and so did his aggression. Moving on to his um, skill attributes now, you can see the ball control rocket. Oh my god, look at that ball control. Crossing, for some reason, really, really, really shoots up. That is a rocket. That is a pouncing rocket of crossing look at that from 49 to 83 curve excellent again dribbling 91 finishing 90 free kick accuracy does okay heading accuracy stays pretty low down long passing does quite well and as you can see it goes from all the red stats to pure green except for marking of course in there short pass 88 that is just beautiful isn't it that 88 short passing typical of a madrid player let's go over to what i think of this guy then so basically his growth is plus 20 plus 20 that is one of the biggest growths that i've had on all of my player reviews on in career mode this guy is so good to play with when he's at full potential he is simply fantastic five star overall thought what else this kid is just wonderful best suited team level i would say two star to three and a half star team um that seems quite low but two star some two star teams can actually afford this guy which is insane and three and a half star well maybe four star if you're pushing sacrificing that little bit of quality for that little bit of potential Definitely go ahead and buy him as a four-star team and loan him out or buy him as a four-star team and keep him as a reserve and play him and let him just grow in the reserves. Fair enough. Second tier club I put there, but really that can be third or fourth, depending on what league you're in. Of course, in England, you've got League One and League Two. You'd probably be able to afford him with some League One clubs. League Two's pushing it, though, um, unless you spend all your money on him, of course. Price range is normally available from around 1 million to 2.6 million. I've saw someone got him for 1 million, um, but normally they ask for around 1.5 to 2.5 million. 1 million is quite cheap, and um, that's quite rare as well. So he is pretty cheap. I'm not not at his original starting overall, 67 overall starting. Um, so, you know, that's not that's not the best overall. But he grows really well. And that investment, that little bit of investment is excellent. If you've got a low league club, like a third tier or second tier club, invest in this guy. That little bit more investment. And he will be your next Lionel Messi, your next... I don't really know who to think of it. Di Maria, someone like that. Do you know what I mean? He is just simply fantastic at the moment. USP, he is an awesome prospect. And at the moment, to be honest, he's the most popular youngster in football. He's the most talked about. He's <clears throat> trending worldwide. 
He is so popular, not only in the FIFA community, but in the football community as a whole. He's got great dribbling and his growth is unbelievable. And then he's unbelievably cheap as well. Superb player. Can't ask for much more, to be honest. And as you can see, I've actually used a different profile picture because I hate EA's profile for this guy. So I've used his um, UEFA profile, which was on the UEFA website. So credit to them. And um, it's quite a nice profile picture of him in his uh, Norwood. No way kit or whatever. So um, yeah, I think the fact that he's at Real Madrid, you can loan in him, loan him in like that, and the fact that he's at Real Madrid, he goes for quite cheap in some ways, and he's only on six grand a week as well, starting by default, which is good because most Real Madrid players, even at the rating of 67, start on like 80 grand a week or something like that, ridiculous on FIFA. So um, six grand a week is pretty cheap. You would be able to afford him with a club like Bournemouth, like Watford, some of them promotion champion uh, championship clubs. Then some of even the mid-table championship clubs, clubs like Forest at the moment, Cardiff. You'd be able to afford him with them guys. And especially if you need a central attacking midfielder who can play on the right, who can really, if you needed to, play him on the left, etc, etc. Left-footed, four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. He is perfect for you. Honestly, try this guy out. He is just unbelievably good. By the way, as well, because he is on the Mayday roster, it also means that if you've already started a career mode before Mayday, you won't be able to start him. Go ahead, update your squad, start a new career mode. There you go, you'll be able to have him. But if you started a career mode already and you want to continue it, then you'll have to start a new one before you can buy him. So say you're in fifth season with, say, I don't know, Norwich, um, and you want to buy him, you can't. I'm sorry about that. If you're looking to start a new career mode with Norwich, season one, then go ahead, make sure you've got the updated squad, you'll be able to get him. Anyway, I do that, if you'd enjoy, make sure you smash the like button. Odegaard is so, so good, and go ahead and buy him. Maybe in real life he won't live up to his hype. I hope he does, because to see him live up to his hype, it would be unbelievable. He would be the player of the century knocking on with the likes of Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, if he does reach his 87 rated in FIFA. Even beyond that, I mean, Shani got him to 90 rated. If he was 90 rated at the age of 28, so he starts at the age of 15 on this uh, game because he, um, when you start career mode, he's actually, because his birthday is on like the 17th of December, he's actually 15. And then once his birthday comes around the 17th of December, then he's in the game. So some of the later update players, you end up getting 15-year-olds in the game, which is a bit silly, but, you know, it, you have to do it because by the time that they were put into the FIFA, they were 16. But before that, they were 15 when they weren't in FIFA, but then you start career mode when they weren't in FIFA, if you know what I mean, because you start in the past now, you start in 2014. So, um, anyway, like I said, I do thank you for watching. If you do, make sure you smash that like button, and I will see you next time with another player review. Oh, God. Hopefully, we'll live up to his potential.